Hi friends, welcome back to Techie Networks. In today's video, I am going to demonstrate one of the interesting network tool, Advanced IP Scanner. So using this tool, you can do many things. I will tell you the some of the key factors. Point number one, there is a no installation required. Just you can execute the exe. Point number two. You can scan your entire network and it will find all the connected devices on your network and it will display the computer host name and manufacturer name and MAC address including IP address. Point number three. If you have any Windows machine, in that machine our admin tool is installed. You can able to control the machine via our admin. Point number four. You can remotely switch on switch off the computer point number five by default it will scan the ports like http https ftp and rdp point number six you can export the reports in a csv format okay let's see how to use this tool go to the website click the download link once it's downloaded Open the application. Just click run to install. Click OK. You will get a two option. Either you can install or you can run. If you don't have admin rights, you can just go and select run. Okay. Once the application is installed, you will get a page like this. By default, it will direct your network and it will show up here. Also, you can manually enter the network which you want to scan. My network is 192.168.0.0/24. So I am going to scan. So before we go to that, so what are the default ports it will do the scanning? If I go to the settings, options. So by default, Microsoft. Uh, share folder, HTTP and FTP, RDP. So these are the four ports by default it will do the scanning. So HTTPS if you are selecting it's optional if you want you can select and click OK. okay let's start the scanning. So it started uh, scanning the network it's a depends on your network it will take the time if it is a small network it will give you uh, the report in very few seconds if it's a large network it will take very uh, long time to scan the network to provide the details let's wait for a few seconds to complete okay so the first device is my D-Link router. It's giving the name. What's the what's the name on on the device, and what's the manufacturer, and also you can see the MAC address of the device. The second one is my mobile phone, and the third one also is another mobile phone. The fourth one is my local computer. In this computer, I have enabled the timing, so it's giving the time also. Okay, as I said you before, you can also view what are the ports are listening on this device so if you click expand it will show you the services running on each of the device so in, in my router as of now it's running with the HTTP okay you can just double click you will get a page to log into the router if you know the username and password you can enter and log in the next one is my local computer in my local computer, I am running FTP, RDP is enabled. So I am going to show you, if you just double click, it will be prompting you for username and password or it will be opening directly if you are saved the username and password in the Internet Explorer. So also you can right click the device and uh, you can go to the tools and if you want to do the ping, you can select ping. It will start do the continuous ping. and uh, you can do the trace route 
it will give you the trace route report also you can do the telnet as a sketch HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, RDP if it's all listening. You have a couple of view options here. So if you want to know uh, the unknown devices, you can just click uh, show unknown. It will list out all the unknown devices. So whatever you are seeing on the status is blue. So that means it's active devices and it's actively connected to the network. And whatever you are seeing number or the question mark one so these are uh, dead it's not uh, active and one more good feature is that so you are checking one by one devices if you want to add some comments right click go to edit commands okay you have tested this okay you can enter the comments here enter the comment here okay so this will be very helpful in real time when you are exporting the reports so these comments also will be included in your report this will be really very helpful and apart from that you have a couple of other features that's called or admin so using uh, it's a add-on uh, utility uh, you have to uh, install this or admin in both your client and uh, your uh, local machine so that you can able to uh, control the remote machine either by RDP or Telnet or you can do the chatting voice chat if you want you can send the message to them so these all features uh, will be working through our admin uh, tool so you have to install on both the sites uh, if you want to control the machines so now you can take the report so if you want to uh, take the report you can go to file and click save as select the location where you want to export the report enter the file name network report and you can select the file type so either CSV or HTML I'm going to use the HTML click save just double click the HTML report it will give you all the details see the status whether it's on that means it's active and it's dead that means it's uh, not active and name IP address and manufacturer of the device MAC address and including your comments so this will be helpful as I said you before so when you want to uh, check for the each of the devices so this is a wonderful tool uh, you can get all the details to use this tool for hacking purpose because uh, many of the organization uh, they have a utility to detect uh, if you are running this kind of tools if you are a system or network administrator you can use this tool and uh, many administrator they don't know uh, how many number of machines are connected on their network so using this tool you can scan your network and you can identify how many number of devices are active uh, how many of them are not active and maybe sometimes uh, it will be helpful if you want to set the some static uh, IP address uh, to the new devices if you don't know the uh, free IP address you can run this tool and uh, whichever is uh, non active so you can use those IP address for the new devices thanks for watching if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe also click the bell symbol for the notification